This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Did you know with Brilliant you can choose what you're interested in, you can choose your math comfort level, and then get started on your learning path. So you can choose topics like computer science fundamentals, and then learn the tools of computer science like repetition and loops. Did I mention that this is interactive, which makes learning fun and engaging? If you want to try everything Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash computer science or click on the link in the description below. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. So get started learning on brilliant.org today. Thank you Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Hello everyone and welcome to this video on the Python programming language. So in this video I will show you all how to create a tic-tac-toe game in Python. Now before we begin, if you like the videos on this channel, then be sure to click that subscribe and like button. And to be notified about videos from this channel, hit that bell notification. So I'm currently on Google's website, it's called colab.research.google.com, and I'm on it because it makes it easy to start programming in Python. So all you have to do is go on this website and then log in using your Google account and get started writing your Python code. So if you're gonna code along with me, go ahead and click on file, then click on new notebook where a new tab will open up for you and then eventually a new cell will open up for you. Now I'm going to put in a description in comments about the program. So I'm just going to type here this code simulates the tick and we'll make that a capital T tick tac toe game. Okay next I'm going to create a new cell by clicking this code button here in the top left and that of course creates a new cell for me. So here I'm going to create a list of nine empty spaces representing the tick tac toe board. And this is easy enough. I can just create a variable called board and set it equal to a list. And I want to input a space. Specifically, I want nine spaces so for x in range 0 to 9 that will give me the the nine spaces for this board okay and then I'm going to run this cell by clicking this button here to the left and this will let me know if I made any mistakes in the meantime while it's running I should also let you all know that you can get this code or just support the channel on patreon at patreon.com slash computer science and I will leave a link for that in the description below. All right, so it looks like it's still running. Let's give it just a little bit more time. It should finish up pretty quickly. Okay, so everything is done. Let's go ahead and create a new cell. And now I'm going to create a function that formats and prints the current state of the board. Alrighty. So I'm going to call this function print underscore board. And I'm going to create a variable called row one and set it equal to a, a bar and then a placeholder for input, another bar, another placeholder for input another bar and another placeholder for input and I'm going to format this so we're going to get the board at position 0 we're going to get the board at position I'll oh, put a comma here we're going to get board at position 1 and board at position 2 so this these two curly braces here represent board at position 0 these two curly braces here represent board at position one and then this these two curly braces here represent board at position two okay so I'm going to highlight all of this I'm going to copy using control C and then I'm going to paste it two times using control V and I'm going to just change the variables so this will be row two this will be row three and then I need to input the positions on those rows so in position uh, sorry in row two the positions are three four and five and then for row three the positions are six 
seven and eight okay so then I'm going to print a new line just for formatting and I'm going to print each row so I'm going to print row one I'm going to print row two and I'm going to print row three and I'm going to print another new line I'm going to run this cell now that that function is done that will print the board for us next I'm going to create a function to get the players move and update the board okay so I'm going to call this function player underscore move it's going to take in some icon and the icon will be X or O so if icon is X then this will be the first player and so I'm going to create a variable called number and set it equal to one for player one else if the icon is O then this will be the second player so I'm going to set number equal to two for the second player and then I'm going to print your turn player and it's going to say player number one or two so I'm just going to put dot format number here okay next I'm going to get the player's choice so I'm going to create a variable called choice and set it equal to some input and in the input I'm going to prompt the user to enter their move and I want them to enter a move one to nine on the board okay and I want this to be a integer value so I need to cast this as a int all right so now we're going to check to see if that position is empty on the board that they chose so board at position their choice minus one if it equals this empty space then we can go ahead and update the board at that same position which is choice minus one and we can set that spot equal to the icon x or o so what exactly is choice minus one well because we chose to give them moves from one to nine that means that the very first position would be let's say the input one it would be one minus one which is board at position zero which is that first position that we have up here and that represents this spot right here okay and then of course if they put in the number nine that would be nine minus one which would be at position eight and then the board at position eight is represented by this spot here all right so I think you understand that okay so that's good we have now updated that empty spot but suppose that it's not empty so we're gonna have an else statement here then we need to tell the user so I'm gonna print a new line and then I'm going to tell the user that space is already taken exclamation point and then we're going to try again so I'm going to to give this function a recursive call to itself so I'm going to put player move and I'm going to input icon so we're basically going to just give this another try again until there until the, the player chooses a a spot with an empty space okay so I'm going to run this cell I'm going to create a new cell now and next I want to create a function to determine the winner so I'm going to call this function is underscore victory and it's going to take in some icon and there are basically eight different ways that a player can win in tic-tac-toe so let's put each of those into an if statement so if the board at position zero is equal to the icon and board at position one is equal to the icon and board at position two is equal to the icon then we know that that this player has one on the first row of the board okay or I'm going to just highlight all of this copy it using control C and then come down here and paste it using control V or if they get all three of the icons on the second row then we know that they've won so the second row contains positions one oh, I'm sorry the second row contains positions three four and five okay and then we need to check for the third row which contains positions six 
7 and 8 okay next we need to check each of the columns so the first column will start at board position 0 and then the next position will be 3 and the last position will be 6 okay and then for the next column it will start at board position 1 and then we need to check position 4 and we need to check position 7 and then the last column starts at position 2 and then we need to check position 5 and position 8 okay so that should do it for the rows and the columns next we need to worry about the two diagonals so we can start at position 0 and then look at that middle position which is position 4 and then check that last position which will be position 8 and then last but not least is the other diagonal that I'm just going to start at position 2 we're going to go through position 4 and then look at that final position 6 okay and that should do it so if any of those cases are true then we're going to return true this lets us know that the person with that icon has one else we're going to return false okay now I'm going to go ahead and run this let's go ahead and create a new cell now in this cell I want to create a function to determine a draw or a tie so I'm going to call this function is underscore draw and we're going to check if empty is not in the board so there are no empty spots in the board if that's true then we're going to return true that it is indeed a draw um, if empty not in I should say board right so if empty not in board then we're going to return true else I'm going to return false so let's run this okay and then the last thing to do now is to just run the game. All right, so I'm going to print below are the board numbers to enter your move. Okay, so I'm going to print that bar, then one, then bar, then two then bar, then three, and then bar. All right, and I'm gonna highlight this. I'm gonna copy it using control C and I'm gonna paste it two times using control V and then enter the rest of the numbers for each of the rows. So that's four, five, and six for the second row and then seven, eight, and nine for the third row. So nine, eight, and seven, okay? So this will help the player to know where they need to or to know what number they need to pick. So they can know where their icon is going to be, where the X or the O will be. All right, next I'm going to run an infinite loop. All right, and I'm going to get the, so while true, colon, and I'm going to get the player's move. So the first player is player X, so we're going to put in an X there, and then we're going to print the board, okay? And then we're going to check if x1, so if is victory x, then I'm going to print x wins, exclamation point, congratulations, exclamation point. And then I'm going to break out of the loop. All right, else if it's a draw. Then I'm going to print it's a draw exclamation point all right and I'm going to break out of the loop all right next I'm going to basically do the same thing I'm just going to highlight all of this I'm going to copy using control C and I'm going to paste it here using control V but this time this will be for our second player which has the O mark so this player move with the O mark or the O icon we're going to then print the board after we get that player's move we're going to check for O's victory and if O has a victor I'm sorry if O is a victor then we're going to print O wins congratulations so let's go ahead and 
let's get rid of this up here and let's run this all right so below are the board numbers to enter your move your turn player number one so I want to enter a move from one to nine so let's choose position three which is there so hopefully it puts an X in position three and indeed it does so now it's player two's turn and so player two needs to put an O somewhere let's try to put it where that X is which is in position three all right, it says that space is already taken and it did not let us put anything in that position. So let's go ahead and choose position five since position three is already taken. So we're going to put five. OK, and so we can now clearly see that there was no other O in this or on this board. So we have our one X and our one O. All right, so now it's player one's turn, which is X. And we're going to go to position one. Okay, so now we can see X is in position one. And now it's O turn. We can stop that that winning or that victor for for X, but instead I'm going to choose position six. Okay, so now it put an O in position six, and now player number one has a chance to win in position two. So I'm going to put two here and we can see that the loop has stopped. If I scroll down, we can see we have three in a row. So tic-tac-toe, X wins, congratulations. Okay, so you can check this for every single case, for the diagonals, for every row. Check for a tie. It all should work. And this is basically the end of the video. So thank you for watching this video. And a special thanks to the Patreon supporters on Patreon.com. Again, if you would like to become a supporter of this channel or just get the code from this video, I will leave a link to the Patreon page, which is Patreon.com slash Computer Science in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great day, and I will see you all in the next video.